Look, look at no. 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 Stop. Stop. Wait. Wait. Come back here. Who wants a ride? You've already given us a ride of surprise. That's a very nice bicycle, Nuru. Did I? Yeah, and this bike looks strange. Where are the pedals? <laughs> it is an electric bicycle, Koba. It does not require pedals. It just moves if I click here. Wow. wow. So you aren't going to use your wheelchair anymore? Says who? I know you wish I could have stopped using my wheelchair because you all know it's faster than your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I like my chair. I'll definitely continue to use it. And what about this one? You mean you're going to have two bikes and use both of them? Nah, Koba, you're like an exam paper asking too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, when your mother buys you a new shirt, you stop wearing the old one? <laughs> <laughs> I saw this bicycle on sale when I went to town with my mother. I really wanted to own it because not only is it a beautiful bicycle, but also it is a new model, so I went to buy it today. Did you go to buy it or did your mom take you to buy it for you? <laughs> my mother accompanied me to the store, but I bought the bicycle with my own money, Koba. You what? Where did you get all that money? As I told you, I saw this bicycle on sale when I went to town with my mother. That was three months ago. So I set a smart goal to buy this bicycle and now my goal has been achieved. Smart goal? Yes, smart goal. Smart goal? What is that, Nuru? Smart is an approach or a way to set goals. I'm sure everyone here understands what goals are. Yes, goals are things that a person plans to do or achieve in the future. Good, Koba. Now, a smart goal is a goal-setting approach that helps you to plan your goals easily and effectively. And this formula works for all kinds of goals. Big goals like Ibena's goal of becoming a vet, medium goals like yours of buying a bicycle, and even smaller goals like... Uh, My goal of drinking two liters of water a day as doctors advised. Uh, yes, Amani. Nuru, would you mind telling us more about smart goals? I really like it. I'd like to know more. You mean that you like them more than my dancing moves? <laughs> <laughs> I can do that all day long. Don't worry. So, in this approach, a word smart is a way to remember five words that represent five key things in goal setting. S stands for specific, M stands for measurable, A stands for achievable, R stands for relevant, and T for time bound. Wow! wow. I expected the wow. So in order for you to understand it well, I'm going to use my goal of buying a bicycle as an example. No, Nuru. Please wait a moment. Guys, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What is it, Kibena? We all agree that for a kid like Nuru and us, buying a bicycle is not a simple goal, just like reading five books in a week. Why don't we use our goal of reading five books as an example in teaching us about the smart goal? What do you say, Nuru? Is that possible? You have a goal to read five books? Yes, we forgot to tell you. Your new bike switched off our minds. Miss Mlea gave us an assignment of reading five storybooks in a week. And when we reopen school, there will be a quiz based on those books. And those who fail the quiz will have to repeat the semester. So you are part of this too, Nuru? No. That means we need to set a smart goal as fast as possible. But we're gonna need a pen and paper because, you see, goals tend to be more efficient if they are written down. We're good, we're good, to, good go. to go! All right, so let's start with the letter S, which is a short form of specific. Here you must say your goal clearly in a few words. Okay, so the specific for our goal is to read five storybooks. You're right, Kibena, but to make it more specific, could say exactly which books we're going to read. Are we going to read any five storybooks or do we have any specific books? Oh, I see your point. That means our specific is reading the five storybooks that Miss Mlea asked us to. Yeah, now let's jump to the next letter, letter M, which is a short form for measurable. Here you need to set a measurement for your goal. The measurement can be amount. So reaching that measurement means your goal is achieved. Aha! Uh -huh. So, measurable for our goal is five books, right? Yeah, Manny. But you see, the books are different in length. Some books just have 30 pages, others have less or more. So you could add up the total number of pages of all five books and make it our goal measurement. That will also help us to know how many pages we need to read to achieve our goal on time. The book I'm holding has 30 pages. Mine has 26 pages. This one has 30 pages. Mine has 20 pages. Nuru, count this one. It has 20 pages too. So it's 30 plus 26 
plus 30 plus 20 plus 20, the answer is 126. Wow, are we supposed to read 126 pages? Yeah, so we're off to the next letter, which is A, a short form for achievable. Here you must test if you've got what it takes to achieve your goal. For example, in our goal of reading five storybooks, we must make sure we have all the books that we need to read or that they are written in a language that we can read and other things like that. Aha, got you. That's why we were facing so many challenges because our goal was not smart. Imagine we didn't even have enough books for all of us to read. That's it, Kiduchu. Can we move to the next letter now, which is R, as a short form for relevant. And here, you must say why you think your goal is important, because the goal needs to matter. Our goal is important because we're going to have a quiz based on these books. And Ms. Umlea told us that if we want to be in the upper class next year, we must read these books. And we all want to be in the upper class next year. Great. So let's finish with the letter T, which stands for time bound. Here you must set a deadline for your goal. You need to write down when you want to achieve your goal. School reopens in seven days. That means we need to achieve our goal before Monday, which is equal to seven days from today. Great. And that's the smart goal approach that's helped me to achieve my goal of buying this bike. And it's about to help us achieve our goal of reading five storybooks in a week. Thanks, Thank Nuru. you, Nuru. For the lesson. Never miss out on new Ubaldo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubaldo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubaldo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Ubaldo Kids family.